please remain standing and let's have a moment of silence for all the victims and the families who are suffering in Haiti. Thank you. Tonight we're going to have a bit of a reversal. We will be going right to zoning, having an immediate board vote, no committee vote. Co-chair of the committee, Mr. Ira Tepper. Hi. Good evening. We are going to expedite matters tonight because of the crowd, and we are going to take the zoning committee uh, meeting and the general committee uh, board meeting and basically make it one. Um, the first issue, or the first applicant, is um, 2001 Emmons Avenue, Lot 8788, Lot 52 and Lot 32. This is the Baku restaurant at the corner of Emmons Avenue and Ocean. The application is for a special permit to allow an existing restaurant to operate without restrictions on entertainment or dancing on the second floor and the ground floor space. Is there a representative here? Please state your name. Good evening. Thank you for uh, hearing my face here. My name is Mark Thompson. I'm with the firm Capital and Company, representing Baku Palace. I'm joined tonight by my colleague George Fontes and our architects Shale Shapiro and Gary Weissman. Um, I'll be very brief. This is a very simple application uh, for a special permit to allow um, to operate without restrictions on entertainment or dancing on the second floor and ground, ground, ground floor of the building. Um, we have also stipulated a letter addressed to the chair that we will have no adult or nude entertainment <clears throat> on the facility as requested. I understand there was a problem in the neighborhood with that. Um, it's not part of our business uh, plan. We will also uh, have agreed that we will not do any uh, increase uh, in the building. The building is built fully as it is now, so it will be in construction. Um, we also have stipulated um, orally, not yet in writing, if you'd like that in writing, you can do this, that we will not have any party promoters or any outside uh, organizations uh, have parties or events in the uh, in the restaurant without the management being there. It will always be under our control. That's basically it. It's fairly straightforward and simple. It's a Euler application, and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer your questions. What's the capacity of the restaurant? Let me ask our architect. Uh, uh, Shale, the capacity? I'm going to ask Shale Shapiro to come forward. He can actually describe it to the, uh, the floors. No changing capacity proposed. It's about 300. Oh, sorry. There's no change in capacity. It's about 300 people. There's parking for riot uh, according to code. There's a parking lot there. Yeah. I think it's 90. 90 cars for 300 no, uh, oh, sure. No, no, no. But currently, there's no change in actual uh, capacity. I realize that. Yeah. I'm the That's my question. Okay, I can check for you and get back to you if you like that. I want to know the eight line. How do you get from the first second to the first second? It's fully compliant. It's the elevators. Yes. What size Never mind. Oh, it's fully compliant. It's fully compliant with the uh, I don't, I can't tell you the size of it up here. But it, it's code compliant, absolutely. Uh, I want to know, do you have any plans uh, to put in the sidewalk cafe chairs in front? I know you've got a big bus stop over there. Yeah, no. Inside. Any uh, the question is, is there any plans to put a sidewalk cafe and there are no plans. We can't do that, understand. I, I think the application is just for the dancing. It's not for any building uh, enhancement or anything like that. It's strictly for the dancing. Yes? The question is, will there be any entertainment on the outside deck? No, it's all inside. Case of emergency, is a sufficient egress from the second floor? So, because there are good problems with clothes. Yeah, the building, uh, is, the question is, is there adequate egress from the second floor in case of emergency? The building is completely code compliant and um, is adequate. It's designed that way. Right now, do 
you have dancing and entertainment in there? Uh, no, we don't have dancing and entertainment. Never? We did in the past, and that's why we have to come back to a special permit, because we need to get the permit to allow dancing. So we stopped. And that's why city planning had us come, apply for a special permit, so we can actually have the dancing. What, what's that billboard on the outside that shows either an actor, or actors, or a singer, or a singer? It's uh, right over here, in fact. What does that promote? Billboard. That billboard, what does that promote? It's been there for years. Sure, I think it just, uh, it usually shows a singer, it shows somebody. You're saying there's no entertainment, but you have a billboard right there with a singer on it. Can't have it both ways. No, there was entertainment in the past. We're not allowed to have entertainment now until we have a special permit, so it's just there. We were actually told we couldn't until we stopped. I move that we approve this. I said. What's the total amount of I move that we approve it. Board members, however. Hey. Read your motion. Second. Or for a vote. Everybody moving just board. Everybody. Everybody. Every board member. Right. That committee. No, board. Joyce Arberman? No. Kathy Blundell? No. Donald Brown? No. Cliff Brockenstein? Yes. Edmund Shalom? No. Reza Chinina? Louisa Cirillo? Ann Dietrich? Alan Dietrich? Yes. Edmund Dweck? Yes. Ed Eisenberg? Yes. Jack Erdos? Bobby Furnick? Yes. Penny Fisher? Yes. Joe Foy? Joel Garson? Robert Diversman? Yes. William Glassman? <laughs> yes. Rabbi Eli Greenwald? Yes. Deborah Bright? No. Morris Harari? Peter Hermida? Yes. John DeSibley? Susan Jacobs? Joyce Kaminsky? Yes. Howard Katz? Oliver Clapper? Julia Kostra? Yes. Richard Koo? Orlando McReynolds? Herb Medecki? Rita Napolitano? Yes. Vincent Osella? Yes. Eileen O'Brien? Jeremiah O'Shea? Chick Palata? Yes. Alan Papa? Yes. Helen Cerubi? Yes. Teresa Scavo? Yes. Mitchell Spielfogel? Yes. Al Smoldone? Yes. Ronald Towel? Ira Tepper? Yes. Sam Sang? Yes. Richard Warner? Yes. Morris Weiss? Yes. Gloria Wattels? Yes. Eli Zami? Yes. Okay, while they, <coughs> excuse me, while they do that tally, the second applicant is BSA calendar number 330-09-BZ. This is a property at 230 Amherst Street, block 8738, lot 66. This is an application for a special permit to allow the enlargement of a single family dwelling. And is there a, yes, we've got to get here. Eric. Do you want me to wrap my name? Hello, good evening. My name is Eric Kalavnik. I realize most of you aren't here to hear me, so I'll speak quickly. The application is for a special permit to enlarge an existing single-family home at 230 Amherst Street, which is that beautiful yellow structure you see there. It's proposed to enlarge it by adding one story on it, so there'll be two stories with an attic level. In doing so, it violates the floor area, the open space, the side yards, and the rear yard requirements of the zoning resolution. The special permit seeks to vary those four sections. I'll be happy to answer any questions anybody has. Sure, the uh, existing floor area is 2,080 square feet. It's proposed to enlarge it to 4,013 square feet. Yes, because it's a single-story house right now, so by adding another floor, you're going to double it. All the other houses are too... It's an attic level, like a crawl space, sort of. So 
No, we're leaving the same exact rear yard. There's a 27 foot rear yard right now that's being maintained. We're adding another floor on top of it with an attic level. That's how you're doubling it. You're adding a second story. Second story in an attic level. Right now there's one story in an attic. We're making two stories in an attic. No, we're not enlarging, uh, excuse me, in the front. We are bringing the front yard from 25 feet now to 15 feet in the front. It's enlarging in the front by 10 feet. At the rear, it's maintaining the existing 27 foot rear yard. Yes. Donald Brown. Yes. Good Yes. 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 Yes